Good day and welcome to Countdown to Contact 2014, brought to you by metaphysicalsource.com. My name is Dave and I will be your host for throughout the day, as today we're going to take you on a little journey. It's a journey that will take your mind, your thoughts, and your beliefs on a trip to the outer limits of the universe and hopefully back again. I was asked by an organizer and one of our key speakers, Johnny Enoch, to participate in this event because like many of you in our audience, I too have more questions than answers. As a former journalist on the radio here in Vancouver, I know how the media works and what makes a story. I know what goes on inside a newsroom, and I know what it's like to ask questions. Questions like the ones we're hoping to get answers to today. Over the last couple of years, I've noticed my personal world start to change. I had always believed in ghosts, UFOs, and even Sasquatch, but I never thought I'd see any of them. However, things started to change for me a couple of years ago. One exciting encounter I had was on my home's patio one spring night. Two friends of mine and I saw something streak across the sky. It was a clear night, not a cloud to be seen. The first one we saw streaked from south to north like a shooting star, except there was no tail or a trail of sparks like a meteorite would have. It looked like an orange rod with two silver orbs on each end. Wowed by what we had seen, we discussed it over and over, whatever it was. Little did we know our evening show would continue. Literally 25 minutes later, something caught the top of my eyes. When I looked up, I rem immediately remember feeling stunned, confused, amazed, and even a little scared. I said aloud to my friends who were right beside me, what the heck is that? But of course, I was using a little bit more hockey language. Looking up above my house was a giant triangle lit up with the same golden rods connected by the same silver orbs. There it was, above my house. I knew it wasn't my imagination when my friends were seeing the same thing. We watched this ship slowly move into a northern direction. But the funny part about it was, there was only silence as it gracefully floated through the darkening sky. It had no sound whatsoever. And as the lit up triangle moved north, we noticed the lights were starting to go off. From front to back, it was like it was flying into something, but there was nothing for it to fly into. It was that exact moment I felt that everything I'd personally believed growing up was wrong. You see, I grew up believing that there's a God and there's a devil. There's a heaven, there's a hell. The bad people go down when they die and the good people get to go up. But this was mind altering to me. You see, it's one thing to be able to write off the first sighting of that night of a plane maybe a meteorite, something else. But to have a triangle-shaped object hovering over top of your house, it made me question every belief that I had. For the first time in my life, I was unsure of my mortality and my morality. And the plethora of questions began racing through my head so fast, there were nights afterwards that I couldn't fall asleep. I started looking on YouTube, websites, reading books, talking to psychic friends. I wanted and needed to know more. And just like you sitting in the audience, I wanted my questions answered. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm helping out at this conference today, sponsored by metaphysicalsource.com, because in order to have questions answered, you need dialogue like we're going to have today. The expert speaking will hopefully help us all have more peace and understanding when it comes to UFOs and extraterrestrials, as we all seek information we may never fully receive or understand. Today, I hope all of you get the opportunity to leave here with more answers than before, and our team of experts who will be speaking to you are going to discuss all facets of the UFO and extraterrestrial phenomenon, from communication to contact, from cover-ups to consciousness. All of our guest speakers will enlighten you with their experiences and professionalism. This morning, we will open up with Mr. John Kelly, whose media experience and the role it plays envelops communication and consciousness. John is an expert in the UFO and paranormal field. His work has been featured in mainstream media from the Wall Street Journal to the famous late night radio show, Coast to Coast AM. Following John will be contactee Samantha Mowat. Samantha will explain to us her experiences with UFOs, her relationships with extraterrestrials both here on Earth and in the skies above. Samantha will also explain to us that most alien races that visit aren't the bad monsters like the ones made famous by Hollywood or video games. 
After the morning break, we will get right up to speed with Chuck Vanderbilt and Dr. Jerry DiStefano Weber. Chuck will explain how a night on Vancouver Island staring up at the stars led him on his quest to research UFO sightings and experiences. His vast knowledge will help open our eyes to tell us that the phenomenon of UFOs and extraterrestrial life is real. Dr. DiStefano Weber joins us after Chuck. Her work as both a psychic and a therapist has helped hundreds of people and businesses across North America to improve their conscious being and focus. In her 30 plus years of experience, she will explain how she's used her gifts to help understand and people to understand in everyday lives and what they can do to improve on themselves. And that's through positivity and meditation. Heading into the mid-afternoon, Johnny Enoch will take to the podium before our dinner break. Johnny is here to speak to us about his research into ufology and metaphysics and much more. Johnny's 15 years of studying have led him to this point as he strives to figure out the equations to life, extraterrestrial life, technology, and how we can help heal one another. After dinner, Ivy League graduate, author, and one of the world's leaders in exopolitics, Alfred Lambermont Weber will grace us to talk about his writings, his experience with the CIA in the United States, DARPA, extraterrestrials, and even time travel will probably blow our minds. Alfred will help us realize that we are not alone and he will give us proof. It's going to be a big day indeed and really it couldn't come at a better time. As recently, there was an article in the local Vancouver Sun explaining right here in the lower mainland of British Columbia, statistics show that UFO sightings are at an all-time high. Now, skeptics will say that it's people in this area who are the ones who are high. <laughs> However, it's hundreds of people on a yearly basis who live regular and normal lives who are seeing these lights in the sky. Not everybody can be wrong. And if only one of those 116 sightings that were reported in 2013 were true, we are still talking about a phenomenon that can change the entire culture of the world. But the bigger questions are, how many weren't reported? What if we aren't alone? Today, let's see if we can find out. For you, the audience, we ask that you sit back and enjoy. There will also be plenty of time today for mingling with others, including our guests, and for Q&A sessions with our professionals. For many of you who have had your own experiences, today is a day where you can talk and share your stories without feeling like you're an anomaly. Maybe you've seen an alien species. Maybe you've been taken and you don't know who you can talk to about it or trust. Well, today is your day. We hope that you will learn that you're not alone as metaphysicalsource.com's countdown to contact 2014 is underway.